<laughs> Hi. What camera are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at you. Let's just talk. I right? got that. But I... Keep going. Keep going. Hey guys, on, it's Jim Jameson. I'm here with Walter. <laughs> you just took over. And we are killing it right now in Miami. Look at this backdrop. I mean, beautiful. It doesn't get any better, right? No, no better than that. <laughs> How you doing? I am amazing. That's good. I'm amazing. I'm so excited for this show. What do you think about the show? You know, I think I think it's going to change the face of comedy. I I think that there's kind of been a lull mm -hmm. in comedy mm -hmm. for a while now. Um, my favorite was Eddie Murphy. Raw. Good. That's good. That's that raw. Was you remember that? Amazing. That's good. It was insane. And I think there's been a know a little bit of a a boring mm -hmm. stretch right. for a while and I I think that you know sex really it, it ties into it there we need some sexiness and and I mean this is, me, this is you it's very sexy Miami we're we there we right it. tell me about you yourself where, where, where were you born where were you born I was born in Las Vegas mm -hmm. Sin City girl All right and, um, what was it like growing up? It was crazy. I tell, mean, tell I, me I, I pretty much spent my life trying my hardest to um, be 21 and be older. So, yeah, life was a little bit nuts. But I tried my hardest to, to become a businesswoman and, and make money. I, th I think we all kind right. of do that, you right. know, it's like, I want to be successful, I, wa I, I want to change things, and my thing, I grew up with men, mm -hmm. so I wanted to be different as a woman, I wanted to change things for, for females. Right. Yeah. What, what was school like? Were you a good <laughs> student? <laughs> school for me was different because I, I wasn't pretty. I wasn't. I, I That's was surprising. a late bloomer. <laughs> okay. Late bloomer. Okay. And yeah, I just I kind of kept to myself. I, I rocked my studies, and I wanted to get out. I just wanted to make money. Right. I was I was stripping when I was sixteen. Wow. And I remember stripping and looking down and seeing my teacher. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Your yeah. high school teacher. Making a what, what fortune. Class? What class? He was my biology <laughs> teacher. <laughs> biology, that's, of, course. That's perfect. of course. But yeah, I mean, I I think now people kind of get the whole sexual side of, of who I am. Mm -hmm. it's, it's natural right. now. Right. Back in the day when I first started, it was a fight really? in order to get the respect. I deserved. Did you feel like you were a tomboy growing up? Or you, I mean... I wasn't a tomboy. You don't think? So you've always been... I was always kind of the girly okay. girl. Okay. Always, like, I dyed my hair when I was 10 <laughs> to be blonde. Super, super blonde. Right. And I was always into boys. I loved men. That was... Any athletes when you were growing up? Ooh. I was into athletes. I okay. couldn't land them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now I can land them, but right. but before, before I couldn't I... land anybody. I mean, I, I looked like a boy up until uh, up until like seventeen, wow. and then and then and then it changed. Then everything changed. Yeah, I got I got a, a like I'll send you some pictures <laughs> from when that. I was eighteen. Yeah. It changed. What uh? You have any siblings? Any brothers? Siblings? I have a brother. I have a brother, and um, he's one of the funniest human beings I've ever met in my life. Really? I think that's kind of why I love comedy so much mm -hmm. because he's really funny. Really? Yeah, really Is he funny. Older or younger? He's older, okay. three years older, and he's a tattoo artist okay. and um, just a fantastic human being. You know, this is interesting, living in Vegas, because I know Vegas is always hot, and it's always tourists. It is, yeah. So what was it like as far as holidays and, and, and things like that? Well, like, what was Christmas like in Las Vegas? <laughs> Christmas in <laughs> Vegas for Jen and Jameson. Um, yeah, it was not, it wasn't like most kids have it. <laughs> I, I really didn't have a normal life. I I worked. I 
I, I grew up with just my dad. I had no mother. So I, yeah, I, I spent my time cooking and cleaning and, and being, take care like, of the house. And, yeah, yeah, being yeah. the only female in the house. So I think that's why I'm kind of a caretaker now right. when it comes to everybody around me. I'm always like, okay, let's do this, right. this, this, this. Let's go, let's you go, let's go. You had yeah. when you were young. And I was blessed oh. with uh, twin boys. Yeah, so, congratulations, but I heard. Yeah, yeah, three years so, old now, right? Yeah, three That's years right. old. So I have a lot of men surrounding me. <laughs> it's a good. It's so, a good but thing. now you date a UFC guy. Let me I do. I went to a UFC fight. I was given two tickets at the casino because mm -hmm. I'm a big gambler, unfortunately. And they gave me two tickets. And I'm like, what is this? It's like, you got to go see this. And right. when I saw it, I just thought it was like the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, how do you... But fight? intriguing, right? It was intriguing. But, I mean, how do you deal with that? Like, watching... You know, it, someone you love. Well, uh, to be honest, I'll, 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 I'll kind of break it down for you. I I was a huge UFC fan mm -hmm. prior to getting with Tito Ortiz, mm -hmm. who's who's my baby daddy. <laughs> and uh, I, I loved the fact that these guys were like gladiators. This was reality. Yes, this was true reality. Okay. These guys were killing each other. I know it. It wasn't like boxing. It's nothing like boxing. I mean, boxing to me is like you get, just, you get a chance when you fall down. They're check going it up. through the motions, right? <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah, I I ended up dating this guy, and and, and it's a lot of it's a lot of hard work. Did it make you feel bad if he loses or if you see him about to lose? Scary. Yeah. I, the hardest the hardest part of the whole thing is. I think prior to the fight, he trains for three months oh, up in Big Bear, and um, yeah, like watching him just going through the injuries, going through all the like, I think all the hoopla when yeah. it comes to to being an athlete. I think they all go through it, right? Right. I like, agree. oh, this guy's got an injury. Right. Who's gonna Who's gonna be right? Who's gonna work it? Right. Who's gonna Who's gonna win? So. Yeah, I mean, he, he he's the longest reigning light heavyweight champion in the UFC, wow. and he's about to to be done. Really? Yeah, his last fight in July. So it's gonna be big. I'm I'm so excited. I'm just <laughs> like, be just huge. be done, just be done. <laughs> you gotta yeah. be scary. Yeah. What do you like to do when you are not with your kids, and like, how do you wind down? It's funny. Um, I actually. I go to coffee. I no, go to the no. comedy store. Really? And my favorite place is in um, Tempe, Arizona. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always go. My favorite person, Joe Rogan. Yeah, you told One me of that. the funniest guys I have ever met in my life. Joe is with the UFC, right? He yes. does the announcements. Yeah, he's the commentator. And then he did the uh, the show on NBC. Yes. But why isn't he more known, you think, as a comic? I think because, I think Joe Rogan isn't known. I think it's because he he's really hardcore. Mm. And and if you want to, like, appeal to, like, the wide audience, mm -hmm. you've got to, like, not curse. You've got to pick your topics correctly. Right. And he's, he's pretty controversial. Really? So, and I think that's why I like that's him. That's why you like him. He's funny, smart, super smart. You're smart. I want to talk about that real quick. You started off in the business. What made you know, or when did you know, that, you know what, I don't want to just be a pawn in the business. I want to control the business. I think I've always kind of known that I didn't want to be just one of the many. I, I wanted to, to change things. I wanted people to go, wow, that Jenna Jameson, she's right. got something special. Mm -hmm. She's she's smart. And you knew that from day one? You, you had that in your mind? I knew it. My, my father always told me, he goes, you need to set yourself apart. You need to change things. And, and, and it's just perception. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't want to give up my secrets, right. but really, whatever you tell people, they believe. I agree. So I, I just said, you know, I am a businesswoman, and that's what I do. Right. I will change things for you. I will change things for this industry. 
And that's exactly what happened. You did. Yeah. You got a brand. So you're a brand. I've right. never, and this is funny, my mother, <laughs> aunts, uncles, young, old, if you say your name, they, they may know not know it. exactly why they know but they it, know but they know name. it. They know it. Yes. So you always knew branding. You understood. Branding. The... Branding. I mean, I, I think it really kind of set in when I, when I was about 19, I, I got into the adult industry and I realized this is kind of an untapped territory. There are no women running the business, but it's a female dominated industry. So why, why isn't there a girl at the helm, right? So I started buying up my URLs. This was before the dot com meant anything. I started buying up everything. I bought up all my friends' names. I bought up everything. And then all of a sudden it was dot com, boom. And then I sold everything off <laughs> and it went <laughs> so smart, yeah I've, I've, I've kind of I, I've oh, known what to do that's yeah good. that's good I don't know how to ask this question I'm gonna ask it though okay when you were younger like when was your first kiss when was your first encounter with a boy or a guy or like when when was that that you I think probably the first time I ever kissed a boy I think I was probably five. No I way. know that's really scary, <laughs> but yeah. I was always really in, intrigued with with boys. Right. I, I I wanted to know how they felt. I wanted to understand like their their makeup. Right. I, I, I wanted to know how they felt. Literally. You wanna... <laughs> Literally. Literally. And yeah, I I had all my friends were boys and yeah, I I was into them. And I think uh, I started dating when I was super young. I was lucky my dad was, was really understanding and yeah. Was he I, understanding or was he just I think he, he thought, listen, this girl is so smart, mm -hmm. there's nothing I can do. She's gonna do whatever she wants. Oh, you just did? Okay. okay. I did it. I understand. And I, 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 I always kind of sat down with my dad and I said, okay, dad, this is who I am. I'm not gonna screw up. I'm not gonna fuck up. That's not who I am. Right. I'm gonna finish my schoolwork. I'm gonna do what I, what, what I have to do. And I'm gonna become famous. I'm, I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna change things for myself. You don't have to worry about me. So I, I think he always, he always believed in me. Yeah, I was, I was really lucky. So you guys still close now? My my dad passed away last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, he that. he was like my very best friend. Wow. He was a good guy. I'm sorry to hear that. Was yeah, he it was hard, but you enjoyed but him when he was here. So that's the best. That's great. The best. Everyone in has like the funny uncle or the crazy aunt. Like yes. who's yours? Who's who's in your family? Who's like the funny one? <laughs> oh my God, I had the funniest <laughs> uncle. I had the. It, is, the, is that always kind of there? You yeah. always have the funny Everybody uncle? Everybody has the funny uncle. I had the uncle. funny uncle. He was um, a, a president of one of the casinos in Vegas. And yeah, he would date so many chicks. And I remember going over his house and he'd have like, I don't know if I can say all this, but he had like mounds of cocaine. Like I'd be like going in his house and he'd have all this cocaine and just like partying. And I, I guess it's testament to who I am now. But, but yeah. My uncle is rad. <laughs> yeah, no. What is criticism, which I'm sure you get a lot of. Of course. How do you handle that? Like when, how do you get that thick skin to, to handle something like that? You know, I always try to um, be as positive as possible. I think that a lot of people always feel like they have to like worry about what other people say and to mold themselves to you know this certain persona I am who I am and obviously it's worked thus far right. so yeah you stick with it I'm this crazy fun insane <laughs> chick and and I think that people kind of they buy into it they believe it and 
And I hope so because it's real. What's your legacy? <laughs> my sons to remember how how hard I worked and how how much I love them obviously but how I never ever let anything get to me and you just gotta like stick strong and just power through you never believe all that bullshit people beating stuff into your head you just gotta stick through it and I think a lot of comedians feel this you know it's it, it's scary getting out there on stage people are judging you. you you've gotta you've gotta just like power through and believe in yourself and yeah and just be happy and I hope my legacy is really about being who I am like real being a real girl and, and never never allowing people to <laughs> I think every woman is. I am. Every woman is. Yeah. I mean, Espe- you- as a man, mm-hmm. like, you're going to be handsome when you get older. You're going to be fine. Right. But as a woman, like, it's so funny because, you know, I have I have a huge Twitter following. And, and people are always like, um, wow, you look different. You're different. Right. I'm like, yeah, well, I got in the industry when I was 18. I'm 38. It's been 20 years. Wow. Things change. Right. And I love who I've become. I love the fact that I'm I'm a cougar. <laughs> cougar right? right? I am. What is it? What are, what are those things? Is those cougar? Is there any other one? There's a puma. Puma. No, a what, puma. What's that? Those are the younger girls. Those are the young ones. So a little that's bit like younger. The I'm a cougar. <laughs> okay. I might be a lioness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you going? To, are you going to get married one day? You think? I don't believe in marriage. Really? I don't. I, I you know, I, I think that, like I said, mm-hmm. the whole Eddie Murphy thing. When in Raw, he was like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Half that <laughs> right. scares me. <laughs> the half thing that scares the hell out Trust of me. me. I went through it. But yeah. I, I know exactly. It's right. Fun. It's once, fun. once you've done it once, never do it again. Yeah. 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 I have kids. I, I have. Okay, reality TV to me is probably the most lucrative business out there right now, and I've kind of been tossing it around for a long time, thinking, yeah, maybe I'll do it, but it's scary. I I, I was talking to some of the guys here that, you know, nobody survives it, couple-wise, so I, I, I don't want to jeopardize my 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 relationship so yeah do you watch it i i'm obsessed are you kidding <laughs> what me are, I'm what, obsessed. Do you, what do you watch what's your, what's your... I, I watch the the real housewives uh, of, of everything, of everything. Okay. like i love atlanta you like the it's atlanta. my favorite any character on there um nini, nini. I love why nini. do you like nini why? i i well i love to hate her <laughs> i love to hate her i think that's what reality shows are about right train wrecks she's real though yeah. like she does not but okay i'm just gonna throw this out there <laughs> right now i'm so tired of all these people being so pc like just be like you were in the beginning say it like right. it was right. I, I was just watching some reruns of the kardashian show and kim was talking shit
like all the big big names right now and I always say on Twitter I'm just like I I own up to it I'm the one who said like I do this and I believe in it I don't have to say oh well it was an accident no it wasn't an accident I remember watching Kim go into Vivid and get her her check signed for her video. So, no, just believe in yourself and, and who cares? That's what it's all about, right? That's right. right. That's right. That's right. She's a sexy girl and she should just own up to it. Right. Be yourself. Yeah. Well, that's all going to do for now. I appreciate that. All we right. got much more to go over the next few days. A lot, right? A lot, a lot to do. It's going to get crazy. I love you, baby. It's going to get nuts from here on out. This was tame. Just wait. Just wait. It's alive. All right. Bye, you guys. All right. It's cool.